just of all want to say, Matt, thank you. This is a great film. I really like it. John Eichert, who is here tonight, and who you'll see in this lovely film and hear from afterwards, who uh, opened our eyes about the hidden side of agriculture that we weren't reading about in our research. And that was the side of the rural communities who were affected by uh, CAFOs and the pollution caused by them. We knew right away that that was going to be the topic of our next film. There's been quite a few documentaries and other information that's been out on animal welfare issues and to a certain extent on environmental issues as well, which tends to be kind of abstract. But this film goes into the impact of his factory farms or CAFOs on people. People that are in rural communities that live next to them, but also people that live in the broader rural communities where these operations locate. I am a citizen who's been impacted by uh, 5,000 hogs within a half a mile from my home. To have a film like this, <laughs> this film, to me, it just makes my heart sing. I just feel like if, if they put together information in a movie form, people learn so much through this kind of media and I think this is so important to me as a person and as a citizen of Iowa, uh, especially those of us who have to live next to hogs, <laughs> hog confinement. The fundamental issue of, of basic human rights, the, the title of the film is, is The Right to Harm. And that's a takeoff on the, the idea of laws, of, of right to farm laws. And right to farm laws were well intended when they came in because they were to protect traditional family farmers from frivolous nuisance suits by people that didn't understand agriculture. I think uh, we need to see rural communities thrive so that young people want to go and live out in those areas. What this film will do is make people in Iowa aware of what the issue is because people just don't seem to know unless they know somebody who's been affected. And so if people can see firsthand from the movie how badly pe um, rural residents are being affected by these CAFOs, it may help bring a broader awareness because we need a broader awareness in order to have some changes happen. Here in Iowa, it seems like we haven't made much progress in trying to get the legislature to take on this issue. We're still back a few decades behind on where we need to be, where all the CAFOs start coming in. You know, we don't even have local control for local county governments. I have lived in Marshall County, Iowa for more than 25 years. Uh, 22 of them were um, on a small acreage, wooded, beautiful Victorian home. Great. I had the pleasure of living on a slice of heaven, five acres, in Marshall County. Um, about four years ago, we were informed that a, a CAFO would be going up um, near us. My story is not unique. There's many of us whose lives and legacies were deemed less important than the corporations who who actually even provide all the services that our farming communities could provide. We had a large animal vet, we had farmers who could provide feed, right? But instead this corporation provides the animals, the feed, the rendering trucks, the vet services, you know, all that. We recognized how important this issue is, how uh, underreported this issue is. We're fighting for our homes. It's where we live, it's where we're raising our kids. It's community, that's what we're fighting for. There's a saying that you can't protect what you don't know, what you don't love. And I wanted to show you how we all love this place. You're going to hear in this film from voices of, of people who are not typically seen in the media. Uh, voices that have been disenfranchised across America, not just here in the state of Iowa. And hopefully what this film can do at some level is start a revolution that kickstart this country into farming the right way. That's the goal.